The aroma of fresh bread always drew Ilara to the bakery. She loved the warmth, the sweet smells, the friendly faces. Ilara worked at the diner next door, her days a blur of coffee refills and friendly banter. Life wasn't easy, but she found joy in the simple things. One rainy Tuesday, a new customer walked into the bakery. Liam, tall and polished, looked out of place. He was used to fancy cafes, not cosy bakeries. Ilara watched him, curious. Liam felt a little awkward. He was there to pick up a cake for his mother's charity event, not exactly his scene. His eyes met Ilara's, her gaze curious, not judgmental. He felt a surprising warmth. He ordered his cake, his usual confidence shaken. As Liam left the bakery, he couldn't shake the feeling that he'd just encountered something special. Days turned into weeks, filled with stolen glances and shy smiles. Liam found himself frequenting the bakery, drawn by the warmth in Ilara's eyes. Their conversations were simple, about the weather, the pastries, their lives. Liam learned about Ilara's dreams of opening a bookstore, her love for worn-out novels. Ilara saw a kindness in Liam's eyes that belied his privileged upbringing. He found himself sharing his own dreams, his desire to break free from his family's expectations and become a photographer. But doubts lingered. Liam worried about what his friends would think about the differences in their worlds. Ilara was wary of the invisible wall their contrasting backgrounds seemed to build. One evening, Liam invited Ilara to an art exhibition. He wanted to share something important to him, to bridge the gap between their worlds. Ilara hesitated, her insecurities bubbling to the surface. She felt out of place among Liam's sophisticated friends, their conversations a foreign language. Liam, oblivious to her discomfort, excitedly explained the artwork. Ilara tried to smile, to hide the growing unease in her heart. As the evening progressed, a quiet frustration settled over them. The differences felt insurmountable, pushing them apart. Later that night, Liam found Ilara by the river, gazing at the city lights. He sat beside her, his heart heavy with unspoken apologies. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have taken you there. It's just, I wanted to share something important with you. Ilara turned to him, her eyes shimmering with unshed tears. It's not your world, Liam. Liam took her hand, his touch conveying more than words could express. He spoke of his dreams, his aspirations, his desire for a life defined by passion, not privilege. Ilara listened, her heart recognizing the echoes of her own desires. That night, under the starlit sky, Liam and Ilara made a promise. They wouldn't let societal expectations dictate their feelings. They would face their doubts together, their love the guiding light. Liam started visiting Ilara at the diner, unfazed by the curious stares. He brought her old books, sharing her love for stories. Ilara, in turn, accompanied Liam to photography workshops, her admiration for his talent evident. They learned to navigate their differences, discovering a shared strength in their vulnerabilities. Time seemed to melt away as their bond deepened. Liam's photography flourished, capturing the simple beauty of everyday life. Ilara, inspired by their love story, started writing again, her words filled with hope and honesty. They found solace in their shared dreams, their love a beacon of light in their sometimes chaotic worlds. Their love story, born in a humble bakery, became a testament to the power of connection, a reminder that happiness resides not in material possessions, but in the embrace of a kindred spirit. And as they walked hand in hand, their laughter echoing through the streets, they knew they had found their own paradise in each other. A love story written not in ink, but on their hearts.